Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another episode of my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today's topic is going to be about benefits of being a nurse corps officer. I know some of you had asked me to talk about this a few months back. I'm so sorry it took me so long to do this one. Um, this is a really important one. There's a lot of benefits to being a nurse corps officer, especially in the Navy. So I will talk about those things in this video. The first benefit I'll talk about is pay and having a secure job. In these crazy times that we are living in and the uncertainty of keeping a job uh, in the military, you will definitely have a secure paying job with full medical and dental coverage for yourself and your family. You have opportunities for upward mobility. So there's a ranking system. You start as an ensign or an O1, you go up to Lieutenant junior grade O2, Lieutenant 03, and then 04, 05, 06, uh, and so on and so forth. So there's always opportunity for upward mobility. I know that's super important for uh, a lot of type A's who are, who are nurses in the military because you wanna keep advancing, you wanna keep growing. So you can definitely do that as a nurse corps officer. Along the same lines of pay, um, you have base pay and when you look at base pay, you're like, well, I'm not really making that much money, but you get more than base pay as an officer. So you will have your regular pay and then you will have housing allowance. And that depends on if you are single or if you have dependents, AKA if you're married or, um, and or have children. So that's added on to your, your pay. You get subsistence pay um, or payments for food. Uh, and depending on where you're stationed or if you're deployed, you could get hazardous pay as well. And um, you get increases in pay every um, sub a couple of years. So it's two years, four years, six years, 10 years, 12 years, and you always get raises. And then of course with that, you are also uh, gaining in rank. So you will make more money as you spend more time as an officer. Um, also, don't forget about the bonuses. Depending on your nursing specialty, you can earn bonuses. Uh, it just depends on what your specialty is. Um, I know the highest paid specialties that are getting uh, bonuses are critical care and CRNAs, but um, also mental health nurse practitioners, uh, nurse practitioners, OR nurses, they get those nice bonuses as well. So lots and lots of opportunity to make good money. Another benefit is all the training. There's a fascinating opportunities that you will have for training being a nurse corps officer. Uh, some of the training I'll touch on, uh, there's combat casualty care course, there is jungle warfare training, cold weather training, there is mass casualty training, um, you get uh, joint on route care types of training as well. There's a whole list that I can go on and on and on for, uh, but I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the uh, skill sets that you could get when you're a nurse corps officer. Travel. Travel is a huge benefit. Uh, you get to be stationed all over the world. It really depends on, on you, uh, what you're willing to do, where you're willing to go. Um, you can definitely have opportunities to travel. Um, I live in Okinawa right now. I've been living here in Japan for two and a half years. Um, and then since I've been here, you know, before COVID, um, I visited Tokyo, Northern Japan, like Sapporo, Hokkaido area. Um, we went to Thailand. So just wherever you're at, you can take advantage. If you're in Europe, you can travel all over Europe. So definitely travel is a benefit in, in my opinion. Um, you can, uh, 
definitely go on deployments, humanitarian exercises. It just depends on where you're at in your career, if you get picked for those deployments, and also if you volunteer for them as well. Um, other things you can get as far as travel are military aircraft flights or what we call MAC flights. So um, the military or Air Force has their own flights and you can get on a flight for free and just travel to different bases. Okay, let's talk about education. Uh, when you're an active duty service member, you get uh, the GI Bill. So after a certain amount of years, I think it's two years, um, you are eligible for the GI Bill. So you can use that toward an advanced degree or if you already have your bachelor's and you want to transfer the GI Bill to your spouse or your children, you can also do that. I think that is amazing. Too bad I already used my GI Bill so I couldn't pass it to my husband or else I definitely would have passed it to him um, or one of my kids. Um, also for advanced degrees, you have opportunities to earn your master's or doctorate um, in a program called DUINS or Duty Under Instruction. It's a highly competitive program, but just because something's competitive doesn't mean you don't apply for it, right? So definitely apply for it. Um, if you get picked for it, it's the best opportunity in, in the Navy. Your master's or doctorate degree is paid for um, the only thing you have to do is just pay back time so for example if you spent um, three years in in doctorate to get your doctorate then you'll owe about five years to the navy so crazy opportunity definitely if you join the navy start working towards that um, also, you can get access to uh, different recreational facilities on base, like golf courses, gyms, um, bowling alleys, and uh, the gyms are free, but the recreational facilities you can get access to um, for way lower prices than you would um, out in town. Also, gas stations. The gas prices on bases tend to be um, cheaper than you would at like a Shell or some other gas station out in town. When you are a nurse corps officer, you have opportunities to be a leader. You can be a mentor and train other officers or um, corpsmen and you can really make a difference in that way and teach people what you have learned and mold people into leaders for themselves. So that's awesome. I love that aspect of being in the military. Uh, you can also manage programs. You can manage resuscitation programs like uh, basic life support, advanced cardiac life support, um, pediatric advanced life support. You can do quality program management if that's your thing. Um, so definitely um, there are opportunities to manage programs, units, people. Um, so you can take advantage of that if, if that's your goal. Another benefit of being in the Navy is meeting people. You meet people from all walks of life, all over the world that you wouldn't necessarily meet if you were just staying in one spot. Uh, being in the military, you get to have the opportunity to move every, every three years or so. And the people that you're working with are also moving every three years. So it's just a whole mix of different people that you get to meet and you get to make connections with. Um, it really is a small Navy, we say. Um, wherever you go, you meet someone new, they turn into your family, and then you might see them later down the road at another duty station. So it's a, a really cool thing, and you get to share stories, um, cool opportunities that you have um, been able to experience or be a part of and, and share it with your colleagues. And likewise, they share it with you. And also the patriotic part of me and the last benefit that I'll talk about is getting to serve your country. You get to wear the Navy uniform, serve your country, do something big for yourself, for your family, 
and um, something that you can be very proud of. All right, guys, that is all I have for today's episode. Thanks so much for listening and tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And if you have any questions, comments, please go ahead and comment down below. Like and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are getting good information or if you want to hear more things about myself, Navy Nursing. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at It's Estella Rojas. My personal Instagram, I am Estella Rojas and Facebook, Estella Rojas, just my name. All right. Hope you guys are all staying well and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.